Brian here from wikigameguides.com and this is The Swapper. So what is it? It's an outer space platforming puzzle game. Uh, kind of anything unlike I've ever played before and it'll really bring up memories of Portal, Braid, and maybe even Limbo. So what's so good about it? Well, the main mechanic in the game revolves around your character and the ability to swap into clones, make clones, swap into clones, send clones to die in order to solve puzzles. And some of them are created geniusly. Like, I was looking at some of the puzzles and I couldn't believe that someone had actually put in the time to create them. Not only that, but the space station aesthetic is great. It's eerie, it's calm, it's quiet, and there's this haunting piano soundtrack that plays throughout most of the game that does a really good job of bringing up just how lonely and isolated the main character of the story is. I played this game on the PlayStation 3 and they did a really good job of porting over the PC's mouse controls to make it sensible and make it actually work. While the PC mouse does make you be more accurate with where you're putting your clones, they did a really good job of mapping that to the right stick. There's enough good in the swapper alone for me to recommend you picking it up either on the PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, or PlayStation Vita. There are, however, a couple negatives, and they are a bit nitpicky. However, here I'm gonna go and nitpick. First, the game only has 10 trophies or 10 achievements, and they're only attached to finding these really well-hidden consoles throughout the game. And they're really well-hidden. I mean, they're stupid difficult to find. And I don't like that. This is the age of trophies and achievements, and they're a joy for me to pick up, and lots of other people enjoy picking them up as well. Also, if you read the descriptions for some games, it'll teach you ways to play the game that you never even thought of, such as Mirror's Edge, one for not firing any guns, or playing Dead Space and only using the plasma cutter. However, the 10 achievements in the swapper are just labeled one through 10 in Roman numerals, not really explained where they are or how to get them. Not only that, once you beat the game, you can't go back through the space station. The game is over. You'll have to restart. The map is open while you're playing it, but once you beat the game, like Fallout New Vegas, for whatever reason, you just can't go back. In addition to this, some of the later puzzles are super specific on how to beat them. Like, you'll have to create one clone somewhere and then march them back to the end of a cliff, and if you march them back just too much, it'll be quicker to restart from your last checkpoint, rather than re-pick up your clones like you've been doing for the majority of the game. They're super specific and really precise, and it's kind of annoying, considering that most of the puzzles are done easily enough once you figure them out, but there are some that are just really too tricky and make the game kind of less enjoyable. All in all, The Swapper is a smart, fun, annoying, smart, frustrating, puzzle mini platforming game, and I really recommend anybody pick it up if you have any of the platforms that it's out for. I definitely recommend playing this on the PC. Even though I didn't play it, I did play on the PS3 version, it probably would work better with the mouse considering that you'll have to be moving that little dot across the screen and it'll be easier with the mouse. However, do pick it up if you have only the PlayStation platforms. I'm giving this game a 4 out of 5. The only thing that's keeping it from getting a 5 out of 5 are the little nitpicks I had about the trophies and how precise some of the later areas could be. So 4 out of 5 for the swapper. Game on.